The Peterson was an idea uh, that Mitch uh, had in with Pochta several years ago when we talked about sort of up-and-coming architects and cutting edge and to bring a certain different level of traction to a building. We wanted something that fit the, uh, the excitement of Cartier de Spectacle, which represented something that really will, will have an impact on the downtown Montreal skyline. And Bruno Saint-Jean from NIF Architects, he had done what were recognized as some of the best condo projects in Montreal. He sat down with us and understood what we meant. They came to us and they said, look, we want to do a landmark building right downtown Montreal. We want to do something incredible. Location was incredible, right in the downtown next to the Café des Spectacles, which is kind of the arts community or arts center of Montreal. Next to Place des Arts, the Maison de l'Orchestre Symphonique, the Museum of Contemporary Art Complex des Jardins on St. Catherine Street, and next to the Place des Festivals. Where you have the Symphony Orchestra, the Montreal Jazz Festival every year. It's really in a, a great location, very, very animated and dynamic to push the envelope to be a little more creative, fun, because we're right in the theme of the uh, Cartier de Spectacle. They said, you know, we'd like to challenge you to go further. We'd like to push you to really, you know, have fun designing this thing. So we went back to the drawing board and we came up with three or four really crazy ideas. And the craziest idea we had was doing a building that's all like smooth flowing curves and, you know, really wonderful type of uh, uh, kind of an evocative, almost sculptural type of architecture. That sort of goal of giving more than people expect has become a bit of a theme of what we do in, in condominium projects. At the Pearson, firstly, in terms of architecture, we really wanted to focus on offering something special. The first step was to create a building with a single loaded corridor where every suite has views over the city. It's more expensive to build, there's more common area, but that means that every single person who's living in that building will have a great view. The second was to create amenities that really would make it more than just living in a building, but being proud of where you lived and being able to live your life where you live. One of the things I found very impressive in the development team is that they said, look, we would like to have something in the middle of the building at the top. That's a common area that everybody can go to. We want something that has a little bit of the joie de vivre of, uh, of Montreal. It's unique in its look. It's unique in its location. There's not a lot of other buildings around here that are you know, competing with the project that we're doing. We're, again, next to the uh, universities, uh, downtown, Place des Arts, Cartier Spectacle. The metro is uh, maybe 100 feet from here. We have everything. It's interesting because most Montrealers don't know where that street is, but everyone knows the location. And the appeal of that to us was, in a residential setting, you don't want to be on the corner of two main streets. Buses are buzzing by, ambulances are going by. It's really in your face when you're choosing where to live and often projects are done at busy corners. But here we're in the heart of one of the most interesting neighborhoods in the whole city, but tucked away on a quiet street. And I think when this project comes out of the ground, people will start recognizing how special that is. To be on a, on a quiet street that's a residential enclave, while at the same time being able to, being in the heart of where people really want to live, I think it'll be recognized as something that really makes a change to downtown living and has an impact on the downtown skyline.